It has been such a nice day today. I'm so glad that we got out and enjoyed some of this nice warm weather in January. Of all months, it is January, which is usually the longest, coldest month, I feel like. We are at the zoo, and Cooper is saying one of his first words. Cooper, what is this? Say cracker. <laughs> say it again, say cracker. Crack, crack. Crack, crack. He calls it crack, crack. Which is his like first real word. <laughs> we are taking a little break because Mama is tired. We walked up a steep hill and we've got some friends up there, but it's been fun to be with our friends today, huh, Emma? Yeah. yeah. I got out to you on my finger. You got, no, I think Cooper got out to you on his finger. He pinched it somehow. Say cracker. Say cracker. The flamingos? Is that your favorite animal? That's my favorite. Yeah. Mine's a too, guys. Hey, what are you doing? You trying to climb out of your stroller? I got your baby. 70 degree weather in January. <laughs> Emma, what is over there? Lion! Is that lion? We are going to the library to look for some books today and I just wanted to show you guys this bag. My grandma, when I, I must have been like five or six, maybe seven years old, um, put, made that bag for me and I carried my piano books in it every Wednesday, had my piano books in it. Um, it's kind of old and that's what we use for our library books now. So we're going to go find some little books to have around for a quiet time, huh Emma? Oh. Do you think we got enough library books? No. No? Let's see what we got. Oh, looks like some fun books in there. Yeah, that one's for Cooper. Those are me. We got some fun books in there. It's so hard to come to the library because the kids just pull the books off the shelf. So I told some of you guys about my neighbor who is Korean and she's getting rid of all her stuff. She gave us this disco ball. The kids think it's party time every time they see it. This lamp is broken. But Lana and I were just in here cleaning up. All these like dolphin figurines and elephants and this like glass doll that Cooper wants to... <laughs> he was so funny. He was playing with it earlier. So we finally took the doll out, but the only thing he wanted was to sit inside the case. He was trying to sit in it and close the door. But like this really nasty old like toaster oven. This is kind of a cool looking phone. Oh, see, look. He wants to sit in it. The doll can fit in there. <laughs> I don't know why he wants to. Emma wants me to hang these dolphin pictures in her room. We got this beautiful lamp. Oh my goodness, look at that lamp. Tell me that is toddler proof. <laughs> Maybe I'll put this in the baby's room. Look at that teddy bear. This is kind of a cool clock. I'm actually gonna try and sell it. It's a grandfather clock. Anyway, so we're just cleaning up our basement, trying to go through the stuff that she gave us. Oh yeah, and this is kind of cool. Show them that. These, Lannan just seasoned these, but like a really big cast iron pan. That one's a lodge. These other two are. Anyway, so that's kind of fun. So that's some of the stuff we got from our neighbor. Something that Emma does every week is go to dance class, and she has advanced to the one hour class once a week. And what I love most is. Her dad takes her. She waits for dad to come home from school and he sits there for an hour so that he can, he studies while he is there. So it's kind of nice that I spend an hour with Cooper and Lana spends an hour with Emma while she's at dance class. She does tap for 20 minutes, ballet for 20 minutes, and tumbling for 20 minutes. So it's kind of fun. Emma, can you show me one of your dance moves? <laughs> Is that one yours? Can you plie? Not a plie. Yeah. Do it again. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Mm -hmm. 
We got a package in the mail today, and I love getting packages in the mail. This is from Ellie and Jared, and I knew it was coming because they said something on their video. But Ellie, or Emma, I have to read this note first. Okay, it says, Julie, Lana, and kids, we love you guys so much and think about you every day. I hope this goodie box makes your day. Keep away from Emma. It says keep away from Emma. Oh, no. It says keep away from Emma. <laughs> we are proud of you, Landon. Keep it up. Can't wait to come visit. Love, Jared and Ellie. From Jared and Ellie from YouTube. Yay, we got a package from YouTubers. <laughs> um, and then it says, Julie, I know it's hard with Landon gone. <gasps> Not yet. Not yet. I have complete control of the bag. Mommy, I have one on. You want one? Okay, just a second. It says, Julie, I know it's hard with Landon gone. Keep your head up and be patient. Go get some spring sandals. I have those on my list. The ones you have, Ellie, I'm gonna go get those in the spring. Um, go get some spring sandals. You are a good sister. I love you more than you know, sister. Money in the candy. What? You did not have to do that. I really will go get me some sandals. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, you were so cute. Thank you so much. And apparently it's not away from Emma. <laughs> we're watching a little girl. This little girl's name is Ellie. Okay, well I, I guess I get better go monitor the kids with the candy. Ellie, thank you so much. And Jared too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway, well, have a good day. Bye. Oh, look at this hug he's giving me. Look at his arms. He, he woke up, so one side of his cheek is red. Say apple. Say it again. Say apple. <laughs> he's excited. <laughs> you can hear he's trying to say it. Anyway, I went and got him from his nap, and he just gave me the look. He's doing it again. Give me another big hug. He didn't even ask for that. He seriously like pulls himself to me and like gives me a big squeeze. And I love kissing his cheek when it's warm because it's like warm and red from laying down for two hours. He's been sick, so his naps haven't been very good lately. But today he finally got a good little nap in. Oh. Whoa, where's the napkin? <laughs> little picture for you. Okay, so tonight for dinner, we're gonna have some uh, quesadillas. We're gonna put some tuna on our quesadillas. But um, we're gonna try zombie apocalypse style of opening a can of tuna, or any can for that matter, without, if you are caught without a knife or a can opener, and you need to open a can, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Come with me. You're not gonna cut yourself? Hope not. Okay, hey, okay, hop off the counter. Oh. Never actually done this before, so we'll see if it works. So you just take the side that you want opened down on the cement. <laughs> Start to see it fray along the edges. I can smell it. See how it's kind of peeling apart? And just kind of squeeze it. This tuna. <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh, <laughs> bitch, the kids. There you go. Woohoo! No, it looks Actually, fine. it looks fine. Good job! Today we are just full of words. Cooper said another word and I didn't even have to tell him to say it. Cooper, who's this? Can you say grandma? Where's grandma? Where's grandma? Mommy, I can't see 
Grandpa. He's seriously trying to say Grandpa. Good job, Cooper. Say hi to Grandpa. So tonight I tried something different. Landon is at school studying and I put the kids in the same room. I wanted to do it after the baby was born, but if this process takes longer for them to get used to than I hope, then I didn't want to deal with that as well as waking up with a new baby. So I am two and a half months before I have the baby and I put the kids in the same room and we will see how this goes. I hope they just go to sleep. But, um, and I hope that it works out because I don't want the baby right next to me for too long because I like, I want the baby to have its own room. So let's go check on the kids. Are you in your bed? Lay down on your bed. I think the problem is gonna be the three-year-old trying to get her to not bother Cooper. He will probably do just fine. The problem is her. She keeps getting out of bed. She keeps giving him toys and things to play with, and so I need to get her to not get out of bed. Hopefully this works. We'll see. Probably isn't the best night to try because he did take a three-hour nap. So he might not be ready to go to sleep, but I'm doing it anyway. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Quick update, the kids are in their own bedrooms now. <laughs> that lasted a whole five minutes, but we'll try it again another night when they're both really tired. So thanks again for watching, bye.